Let's move on to the third main topic today. And our third main topic today gets sent to us from Terry Faust, who writes, Greetings and salutations. I've been following the Barbie roller coaster for years now, ever since it was supposed to be played by Amy Schumer, then Anne Hathaway, and now Margot Robbie. Strange project. But I admit I'm a lot more interested now that they just announced that Greta Gerwig, a multi-Oscar nominated filmmaker, and Noah, I never pronounce his name, uh, Baumbach, uh, also an Oscar nominated writer, have been brought in to write the script uh, with maybe a chance that Greta will direct herself. What do you think of this development? All right. Thanks a lot for the question. And you're right. This Barbie drama has been going on for a while. Back a few years ago, it was going to be Amy Schumer. And it was going to be a, an approach that Barbie gets kicked out of her fantasy land because she no longer had the perfect body. <laughs> and they threw her out. And I actually thought that was interesting. And I can't help but wonder if that led to the I Feel Pretty movie that she eventually went on to do. Then it was going to be an Anne Hathaway. That kind of never really gained any, tra any traction. Now they're talking Margot Robbie is going to be Barbie. And they're talking about bringing in Greta Gerwig and... Uh, the interesting thing is she just directed Lady Bird. She got nominated for Best Director for that. I'm the only person on the planet that didn't like the movie, but everybody else on the planet loved it. So keep that in mind. This is an interesting development. I mean, this is kind of cool. I'll be honest with you guys. I've always just thought that this Barbie thing was probably just going to fall off the rails and never was actually going to come to pass, but it keeps getting more and more traction. And now they're bringing on big name filmmakers and writers oscar nominated film writers something like this margot robbie is a powerhouse name that is not diminished at all she's only getting more and more influential in the business i'm starting to think that yeah maybe this barbie movie is going to work even though it's an ip that goes back to probably my grandmother's days at any rate aaron you're hearing about this what do you think about this development do you think greta you know could bring some gravitas to this do you think this movie's even going to happen is it a good idea is it something that should have happened 30 years ago where are you on this oh it's happening and i think that right now is the perfect time for it to happen um you know let's not forget that margot robbie in addition to being a wonderful actress and being a beautiful woman she's also really establishing herself as a strong producer. Yeah. You know, she, this yeah. is her production company. She also, she and her her producer husband developed I, Tanya, and that's how that came to be. So no doubt that these decisions of bringing in these creative powerhouses are really coming from Margot Robbie herself. Uh, so that is really exciting. She's no dummy. She's a very smart woman. And I will say this. I worked with her on Pan Am 10 plus years ago, she was unbelievably kind. When I thought my housing was falling through, she invited me to live with her and Christina Ricci and then invited me to dinner with her her family who was in town from Australia. We went to see Sleep No More. And what was really funny, my little aside Margot Robbie story, her mom said to me, we never imagined that Margot would have this kind of success. It's really overwhelming. And I just only <laughs> can imagine what her mom must be saying now. And I've heard from very many people, my acting teacher is Margot's coach, and she's just as kind and loving as she was 10 years ago. But that being said, she's also really smart. And I think that in the age of Me Too and of women being portrayed, you know, and also with Barbie being seen through the lens of a woman director, it really does make a difference in the way that Wonder Woman was not seen through a male gaze of being sexually glorified. I think that Barbie, who for young girls was supposed to be empowering, like, look, I can be a doctor, I can be a pediatrician, or uh, they're both doctors, I can be anything <laughs> I want to be. I can drive a Corvette, but I can also drive a Safari Jeep. Barbie can be anything if you dream she can be. But seen through a male gaze, I think it could be a very different kind of movie, a more sexualized version of Barbie. So I'm I'm incredibly excited to see what Margot Robbie's producing mind and Greta Gerwig's directing eye are going to do with this movie together. Rob, you're seeing all this come together. I, I think you shared my doubts at one point that this would ever even happen. But what are you thinking about this move right now? What do you think about bringing these writers on? And is it ultimately going to happen? Well, first of all, thanks for mentioning Sleep No More. Nobody ever talks about that on the West oh, Coast. Best. But man, it's amazing. Uh, but anyway, you know, I watched the episode of the Netflix documentary series, The Toys That Made Us. Mm. And there's a great Barbie episode, which talks about how Barbie was sort of reinvented from its inception throughout the years. If you could make a Barbie movie, and I don't know how you would do this, that touched on the character and how did Barbie reflect women and I dare say the feminine or feminist experience over the last 50 years, I have no idea how you do that. However, 
if somebody could figure out, Noah Baumbach and Greta Gerwig could. And I think whatever they're going to do with this movie, with Margot Robbie, who's perfect, however they approach it, for the role, I actually think we could get something really interesting out of this film, which seems insane for me to say. The idea of a Barbie movie would attract me just about as much as seeing a Monopoly movie or a Candyland movie. How about Lego movie? Shoots and ladders. I know, right? Lego. But I've always loved Legos. But... um. But a Barbie movie that that incorporated those kinds of themes with this kind of talent behind it, I'm in. I'll go see it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's going to be. But if you guys want to watch something really interesting, watch the Toys That Made Us episode about the Barbie franchise and where it went and where it came from. And if you could touch on some of those elements, I think we'd get something special out of this movie. And also watch the episode about Star Wars toys, because that was pretty damn good, too. The question is, guys, what do you think about this? They're actually adding Oscar caliber talent to the creative team of a Barbie movie. What do you guys make of that? Jump down in the comments section below and let us know what you think.